Pivot now to this in less than 24 hours after a 14 year old girl was killed in her own home. Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb says his number one priority is keeping the streets safe. Now Bibb toured the Cleveland Police Real Time Crime Center with Governor Mike DeWine today and News 5 investigator Tara Morgan asked both how will the center help the family of the teen shot in her own bed. Governor Mike DeWine inside the heart of the Cleveland Police Real Time Crime Center. Probably the, the most important thing this center can do uh, is to get the violent offenders off the streets before they kill someone else. But whoever shot up a house on Columbia Avenue around midnight killing 14 year old Abriana Jackson in her own bed is still on the streets. Her mother and three other children survived a barrage of bullets from a car that pulled up into the driveway. My heart grieves for that family. Mayor Justin Bibb wouldn't discuss the specific case, but called violent crime a systemic structural issue. He says they'll work with city council to fully fund the center and make sure it's working 24 seven. As mayor, it is my number one, number one priority to keep our streets safe and secure, and I will use every resource I can but emotions are running high on Columbia Avenue, where an upstairs window on the house is marked for bullet holes. Shattered glass sits in a pile on the porch. Neighbors didn't want to talk with me on camera. One man says he is tired of talking and is doing some investigating of his own. DeWine awarded the center with a nearly $400,000 violent crime reduction grant. The money is for new technology in part to help identify people wanted by police. Cleveland's interim chief says they can enhance surveillance video and get it to officers on the streets in real time. We're very hopeful that um, something was captured, whether a vehicle or a suspect was captured with uh, the surveillance videos, not only from the uh, videos or cameras that's up by the uh, city, but also civilians as well. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan. And the governor says he'd like to see the real-time crime center replicated around the state.